What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and we are back with more Witcher 3 for you, as it is a new day. So I know yesterday the episode, the last one at least, kind of wrapped up a bit abruptly. Initially in that episode I had mentioned like, Hey, don't worry, there's one more episode coming today, so stay tuned. And then after the fact, I realized that that was the 6pm episode. And there was no other episode coming, so I decided to just cut that out for the sake of you know, reducing any potential confusion. Either way, travel to Velen. And to the hangman's tree we go. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Little Siri getting in trouble. I remember, did, did Yennefer mention what the Wild Hunt wants with her anyway? I don't think she did. I know the Wild Hunt's tracking her down. I don't know why they will be tracking her down. Do they like hate witchers or something? I don't know. Gotta gotta go do some reading up on the lore. Find out what this wild hunt is all about. Why are they I mean I know they're chasing Yennefer. I'm assuming it's something to do with the fact that she's a sorceress, but I don't know much else. I think this may be the longest... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I meant to say. Like, Bloodborne low times? Five days later. That's, that's nice. Decorations. Wild dogs, a bunch of them. I don't have time for you. We have an end to reach. Slower. Maybe I can't select the sign while I'm here. This looks pretty similar to the last area, except that it's like tons of shit is just like raised and burning. And I mean, this part looks pretty. Lots of lots of nice looking flowers. Match all these up. You can climb on top of notice boards. Okay. We're not going to be doing any side quests right now, but in the very least, I, I do plan on picking them all up at the moment. So that uh, later on, when, we, when it's time to knock out some side quests in free roam, we'll jump right into it. He has a quest for me. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. 
Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Yeah, I can burn some bodies to get paid. It's easy. Let's go, Roach. Got a tavern to reach before dusk. I said I wasn't going to do any other quests, but I feel like this is one of those ones where it's either I help this guy now or he winds up dead. Unbind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verde. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. I'm not gonna leave the guy to die. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Twenty-five experience. Let's go. Take every bit of experience I can get. It has to cross. I gotta. Crossroads? Yes, it is. We got another notice board as well. Slower. One thing I didn't mention, actually, um, I had a couple people mentioning the uh, the volume levels in the videos. So I increased the game volume just a pinch, and then in addition, increased the uh, the rate that the game picks my voice up. So. You know, there are a couple mentions of my voice like cutting out towards the, the tail end of sentences. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. I think it's just the way it detects my voice because I have it set up, you know, to when I speak. So every now and then it's slightly finicky, but <clears throat> in general I'm not really saying anything of great importance in those parts. This place fucking sucks. There's nothing here. Like a pig in your home? You guys are disgusting. Let's check this place for loot. There's gotta be something in the damn tavern, right? There we go. Yeah. It's behind door number one. Nothing. Let's exit. This place is really... Like, this whole area is just fucking barren. What is this? Another love. You've had enough. No wench will ration my vodka. Poor damn it. Or ye taste the back of me hand. Jesus. What do ye want? Who rules this land now? Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? Uh, by his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? You, Hendrik? No. Don't 
not a with that one. It'll bring trouble. So long. High time we went home. We'll go once I've drunk. <laughs> well, that's a great relationship. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. Give the devil some water. Ah, together. Now. That'll never work. You guys are a couple ragtag fucking bandits. You're gonna fight a witcher? Let's see how that goes for you. Here's a hint. It won't work out well. Damn it. Ow! Fuck. Doing better than I thought they would. That back up. <laughs> Buddies are down, and now you're down. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf? Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself. For us both. Well, I got a <clears throat> couple corpses to loot before anything. Go out the back. Or the Baron's men in the village. What's up, Brano? Come talk to you. A Witcher? And not a second too soon. Understand well, you have a contract for me. For the quests. It's my brother Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the men folk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. 
No one wanted him. Redanians wouldn't let him into Novigrad. So Mikkel took him to the old mines. Get him out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Could look into it. If you paid me more. Uh, let's boost this up to say... What? You fall on your head today? Okay, too high. About 340. Here we is, chattering on and on, while Mickle might be coming to arm. Take the offer, or I'll find me another to do the job. Fine. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. You were the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. But, if worse comes to worse, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills, he'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of them. Think I know enough. Thanks. And I see a couple people want to get their ass whooped, starting with you. Woo! Come on back here where we got plenty of room to dance. you go. Bunch of fucking thugs. Anyone else? Let the Baron know I killed his assholes. Bunch of scumbags anyway. Roach. Let's go. Pretty good on time. I think I can head on over and find this Hendrick guy before we wrap things up. That was right over the hill. This is a decent little hike, though. Pretty close, though. 140 steps out. Be there in no time. What's that? Whoa there, Roach. Couple bandits. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's always one guy who wants to fight naked. And thinks that's somehow a good idea. Man, so much garbage to take out. I do gotta start mixing my signs just into the fray more. Roach, come on. Anything? Yes, indeed. Loot. I don't always kill bandits and loot random huts, but when I do, it's usually because it's on the path of my journey. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Whoever you is, get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Oh shit, the wild hunt? through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Were 
around here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Damn. Well, um, I gotta say, that's a pretty fucking crazy development right there. Either way, guys, that is going to be it for this morning. Obviously, another episode coming at noon my time, and then another one at 6 p.m.